everyone welcome back to my channel i again coded this video we will be seeing how we can resolve dependency issues i am creating this video because i just encountered a dependency conflict issue and it took some time to resolve because there weren't clear instructions on how to do that i tried various things i invalidated caches i cleaned the project but nothing worked so in this video i will give you a clear idea on the steps you can take and that will 100% resolve your issue, whatever it may be. So, let's get started. I don't have the dependency issue here, so I will just walk you over these steps. Actually, I just resolved it and I don't want to put it back again, so I am just giving you the steps. It is fine if you have any doubts, you can always leave it in the comment section and I will be happy to help. So, the first step would find a project structure. Now, in project structure, we can see all the dependencies. And now we know which dependency is causing a conflict, which, de which dependency. Basically, they are repeated dependencies and I can remove one of them. So, I just select one because this test is causing an issue. But, of course, this is the main dependency. Currently, I don't have. But when you debug, you click on debug icon, there would be a stack trace which will tell you that this dependency is conflicting with this dependency. So, I just click on this dependency and I remove the module. So that will give uh, remove the module, then I will file, invalidate caches and restart. So that will invalidate all the caches of the dependencies it has made so far. And it will restart Android Studio and should be good. But there might be cases such as which happened to me that I not be able to actually re resolve, like delete the dependency by this. Because like actually even if you comment the dependency in what you call the build or trade fine. The dependency still is there in the Android Studio project. It's just not used, so that causes an issue. So to resolve that, we will go to the file structure. So we'll go. To, so my application is currently Epsilon. Your application can be whatever its name is. Dot idea, and then go to libraries. So this will be the libraries folder. Now this will have all the libraries that you need, so Gradle X underscore this, this, this. So now what you can do is simply find your, this is what I did and it worked. Basically find your library which is conflicting with it and just click on delete. So that will delete the library from, actually from the project itself. So if you uncomment the dependency in build or create it will actually download it. Again. So that is actually a good thing because now you have actually cleared unused dependency and resolved the content. Next, go to file, invalidate caches and restart so that all the trace of that dependency is lost and the conflict is resolved and you are because there is no way after this deleting of the dependency that you won't be able to actually, uh, actually work with it and resolve the conflict. Even so, there is like 0% chance of that happening but if that happens you can simply do delete all in the libraries folder and it will just download all but then you are sure that you there won't be any conflict issues because it is downloading all the libraries in one at its own so there won't be any issue so i hope that was fine and it won't. also one more thing when you are identifying this make sure that you go to Gradle scripts build or gradle here and comment one of the two which are causing the issue and delete them. Delete the commented so i hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something and hope your issue gets like share and subscribe